another way to create curves on a surface is to project them. So we've learned how to create curves on a surface using the CV, uh, the, using the CV2. Now in this lesson I'm going to show you how to create curves on a surface using the projection tool. So um, let's start with uh, with the sphere. I've uh, uh, turned off the grid by going to show turn off grid because I don't yeah because I don't want it there. So you've got your um, your sphere on here. So now what I want you to do is um, create text. Okay. So um, create text and uh, we've, uh, we're going to create the letter O. So create. You can see that there's a uh, it's it's here. So go into your perspective view. Go into your perspective view. Just rubber band select that and um, move it to. Uh, I want to move it to the center. Okay, just here. That will do. And um, move it somewhere where I can see, you know? Somewhere where you can see. So let's go into our perspective view now. I didn't uh, do any. I didn't do anything there. So um, we've got our curve. We've got our O here. So what we want to do is to project this O on the surface, okay? So make make sure it's nice and pretty. You know, you can um, you can move it around make it to to suit whatever it is that you want to do. That's uh that's pretty that's pretty good. So what happens when you proje project project um, when you project uh, a uh, an object onto the sphere or whatever it is that you're projecting? it projects from that same perspective that you are. Let's say you are in um, front view, it will project from the front, okay? If you're in side, side view, it will project from the side. So let's go into um, a front view. The, just make sure you shade that one by pressing 5, okay? Now select both of them. And uh, edit nerves, then project curve. Okay, so it's it, it's actually projected now. Let now to to able to be able to see it. Let's go into our um, perspective view. Let's go into our perspective view. So what I want you guys to do is to select the outer side, shift select this one as well. Okay, when we select those two. We can go, uh, we can um, advance by, we can do whatever we want. We can go as far as um, loft, uh, going into a loft, you know, loft, uh, whatever, like try pretty much lofting the uh, both surfaces. Yeah, we can pretty much loft both surfaces um, as well as, let's see, that one, the inside one. It's actually a bit hard to get it sometimes. Get uh, select those two, as well as well, and just loft them. Surfaces, the loft. Okay. Which is a yeah, it's a pretty pretty good one that we've got in here. Then, just like any other, just like uh, in the previous lessons. We can actually create a planar as well. So uh, shift select this and that create a planar. There you go. I just create. <laughs> I just clicked on the Z by mistake. There you go. So yeah. So now um, you. You've uh, seen how we can um, extend, uh, create objects from pr pretty much um, create uh, curves by simply projecting objects. That's how it works, guys. Then again, you can go into your attributes editor and um, 
fix whatever it is that you want to fix you know you can yeah you can fix whatever it is that you want to uh, fix in the attributes editor so i hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial guys and uh yeah let's advance to the next tutorial